blessing to be back in the house of the Lord, to uh, fellowship, and to uh, have an opportunity to sing songs of praise to the Lord, to uh, participate in the reading of His Word, and giving glory to Him. We want to study some this morning in the book of Psalms in chapter 1, uh, very good scripture that we can uh, go by and uh, it will get us, it should bring us closer to the Lord. We'll see what he's saying in a very short uh, few words here in chapter 1, but it's got a great meaning to it. So if you would, turn your Bibles to the book of Psalms chapter 1. We start off in verse uh, verse 1 of chapter 1 of the book of Psalms. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of scorners. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, Amen. and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bringing forth fruit, bringing forth his fruit in his seasons. His leaves, his leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Amen. That is the man that is blessed. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. So this is the reading of uh, the first chapter of Psalms. Very, very good information here. And if you, if you break it down and, and uh, look at it, uh, you, can, you can get a blessing from it. And that's what I wanted to try to do this morning is just to use these few scriptures here to to uh, say a few words concerning this but first of all we want to notice that he the, the psalmist david was uh writing this and I, i'm assuming that he was talking to several of his people and he was praying maybe praying this as a prayer uh i, I really don't know but in any way he he said he was blessed is the man that walketh not in the council. And I looked, I looked at this council, and I thought, first of all, it was just uh, like being counsel or teaching, but also it's sharing opinions or discussions and deliberating with ungodly. Mm -hmm. Now, this thing here, and this word here says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly. Now, to me, he's saying this morning that we have no need whatsoever of, of discussing things with the ungodly concerning Amen. God. Even you can you you have a desire if you have the desire to tell them about him saving you or what he's done for you, that's fine. But listen, what's going to happen a lot of the times is uh, and, and, it, and, it, and it talks about uh, some of the other uh, things that goes on, but this, these people will, the ungodly will make fun of you. Right. Uh, they will not listen to you. They'll scorn you, and, and they let, you let them, if you're not careful, walk on God's word. Right. And the Bible says for us not to cast <coughs> our pearls before the swine, and so we need to be very careful, and it's not to say, hey, just shun people and not never try to encourage them or say anything to them about the Lord, but be careful how you do this because uh, in so doing, you might hurt them more because by permitting them to say ungodly things about them, and, and they go away laughing and saying, hey, I got the best end of that conversation. So uh, the devil will encourage them to do it more. And so this morning, as we as we have opportunities to witness to people, and as we uh, tell them about the Lord, be careful how you do this, because this is this is something here that he he said, "Blessed is the man that walketh not." In other words, 
that does not does not present God's word to people and let them walk on it and all this. So he said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Again, this morning, as as we think upon this, standing in the way of sinners, and we as Christians, sometimes, if we're not very careful, can stand in the way of sinners. Right. By our actions, by our talk, uh, by... Uh, insinuating things that uh, the sinner sees and knows enough about God to know that uh, that's not normal for a Christian come to you and uh, try to be a witness and uh, read the Bible to you and all this and then using other language and doing other things that is not according to scripture and so this morning that is a way of standing in the way of a of a sinner and that's one thing that we'll have surely have to give an account for because god says in there that his blood will be on your hands mm -hmm. because if you stand in the way of someone and so the only thing that uh, the best thing i can tell you to do is just try to encourage them through thy word and watch your walk and watch your talk uh, because listen it sends out signals mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we don't we don't need to do that we don't need to be uh, someone that's always saying uh, one thing and doing another and that's uh, the word I think you use is hypocrite mm -hmm. so this morning here's a here it is he said not stand in the web centers nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful now the scornful, listen to this, is one who dis, who despises one one who scoffs at uh, the teaching or the the meanings of God's word. Now that is your that is your uh, scorner. He is the one that uh, that uh, scoffs at them. He's the one that despises them, and he's the uh, at the teaching uh, of God's word. And listen, we have them. We have them that sit in our pews uh, in churches, and listen, they go to see and be seen and make an impression on people in order to better themselves. But in, 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 in reality, they are ones that despise what they hear. They are ones that scorn it. They're the ones that uh, within themselves say, oh, this is a bunch of, you know, uh, bull and stuff. That's that that is you that is your that is your scornful ones. And he's saying here this morning, he says, uh, <clears throat> that walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the web centers, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Now I want you to see something this morning. Uh, this scornful is 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 a, a foul person. Uh, and he's he's foul and he's he keeps it to himself a lot of the times, but yet every once in a while if he finds somebody that will go along with him that's when it comes out that's when he pukes it out and that's when that's that's when it's heard of other people and so be careful with this type of person uh in i believe i got a, a scripture i wanted to read in that in psalms 26 i believe it is let me look and see if i can find it real quick i think i have psalm 26 i may be wrong i may be wrong so look, let me look this 26 and uh, verse, I say one. I need this button to cooperate. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, sh I shall not slack. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sit with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissimilars. I have hated the congregation of the evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, and I will compass thine offer, O Lord, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving, and tell of all of thy wondrous works. Amen. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thy honor dwelleth. Gather not my soul with sinners, 
nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity, Amen. redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place in the congregation where I bless the Lord. And so this is this is what he's talking about with the with the scorners and all this. But notice here in verse two, and it goes along with what we just read during twenty six. But this delight is in but his delight is in the law, talking about the man that is blessed. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And his law doth he meditate day and night. And this meditate is to think about uh, the Lord's word or to think about living for the Lord or, or to think upon God's word uh, daily. And, uh, and that's the dictionary, meditate, to think about uh, often and study and ponder and consider. And so, you know, uh, the Bible teaches us to always be have a, a, a mind that is uh, thinking upon these things. And this is one of the things that he said. He said, I meditate upon the, the, the law of God and upon his word. And so this morning, here's something that we need to think about is, is we, we need to have uh, times in our, in our daily walk that we can meditate upon the Lord and we need to keep, keep him in our hearts and in our mind because uh, if, if, if we don't, it, lets, it gives the devil more a place to come into and to uh, right. aggravate us. And so our meditation towards the Lord and what he's done for us, we can always, we can always praise the Lord for what he's done for us. Amen. Listen, there's so many things, there's so many things going on in our lives and listen, he's led us bypass so many things that would hinder us. And so we have an opportunity each day as we even sit uh, and uh, <coughs> even sit in the chair and uh, uh, take a little nap. We can sit there also and meditate and thank the Lord for it because we need to and, uh, and be, uh, be stronger. But he says here in <coughs> verse 3, notice now. And he shall be like, this is the, this is the one that's blessed. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers, notice that rivers, of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now, I want you to notice this morning, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers. Now, how did the tree get there? The same way that your soul got salvation. Right. The Lord came to you and planted that. He 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 called you out. Amen. He planted that within your soul, and you're saved by the calling out by the blood of Jesus Christ. And notice He says here in this about this tree. And if you'll if you'll think about the tree and all of this, how that uh, how that it stands and how it produces fruit. And how its branches grows out like children and grandchildren and great grandchildren and all this. It's a picture of man. And he says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers. Now, why did he use rivers instead of river? Well, it's because I believe that this man, this man that is blessed, it's not by an actual running river that he's talking about, but the rivers of your life and the rivers that we have opportunities for to uh, 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 endure or, or to partake of, like uh, the Bible. We have our Bible as a, as a, as a fresh supply of Amen. water every day. Amen. We have our prayers that we can reach out to uh, and, and talk about, to talk to the Lord about other people and how that he can bless them and how that he can bless us and how that we can uh, stay away from things like that. We have the, the church here that we can come into and we can have the Holy Spirit that speaks to our hearts. Listen, these things are waters that come in and flood our souls and, and, and let our roots grow deep in the Lord and how that we can be blessed of the Lord through this. Notice here, uh, other people's lives can be a, a much needed river for our, 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 our souls and for our roots and for our, uh, our bodies because uh, we see these things 
we see these things going on in other people. And listen, we're encouraged. We're encouraged. And, and I know that, listen, I, when I see when I see the Lord take and pick up Sister Joanne and save her from dying over on that Amen. over there in that truck and all this, and she's back in church and she's she's making an effort to serve the Lord and and, and, and all this. It just it just gives me a, a great joy. Amen. And it draws me closer to the Lord. And so he uh, the uh, people's fruit, people's lives. All of these things, people, are these rivers of water that he's talking about. And he said here that, it's, that he planted that tree. That tree was not, it just didn't a seed blow over there. And it's like uh, we this morning, uh, we just didn't haphazardly come by and, and, and was saved. Listen, it was, a, it was a planned situation. My life was planned before he turned before the Lord Amen. again in eternity. It was planned. And a lot of people don't want to understand that or don't try to understand it, but it was planned. And God's plan was, hey, you're going to be planted down there in Tennessee. Right. And you're going to be associated with the Baptist church and you're going to do this and you're going to and you're going to produce fruit. And so this morning uh, that's what he's talking about here. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his, in his season. Amen. Now this, notice this this morning. This tree brings forth its fruit in one time of the year. But now notice here, he says here, that he bringeth forth his fruit in, in his season. And our season is every day. We can bring forth fruit every day. It's not like the tree that sits there and it brings a crop of apples once a year or a peach tree or whatever. But listen, we have the opportunity to bring forth fruit every day. Amen. And, and you know, you say, well, I just don't, I just don't never do. Well, we need to get closer to the Lord. Amen. We need to, we need to open our eyes when we go out in the morning or when we get out of that bed and say, Lord, bless me this day and help me to be a, uh, 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 take an effort to be a comfort to someone and to tell them about you. And we will have, and you will have, if you'll, if you'll, if you'll be close enough to the Lord, you'll have an opportunity to be a witness. Amen. And it may not be out of your mouth. It may be the way that you walk. It may be the, the things that you do and the actions that you take. But listen, you're going to be showing some fruit to somebody. Amen. And it's just like the old tree. The tree that grows and it grows and, 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 and you watch it and you watch it and eventually you'll see that bloom and then you'll see that fruit. Listen, you keep on watching it and that's the way people are doing us. They're watching us. Amen. And so we need to bring forth fruit. And here he says here, he said here, it'll bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And this morning, that leaf withering is the is the is the lack of water to that tree and he says it's not going to wither because it has all of these rivers running around it and we have all of this wonderful stuff running around us and the and the joy of the lord keeps us from withering away because without him and without the holy spirit and without us uh being close to the lord and and and, and as his children Listen, we'll wither, and sometimes we do get a little droopy. I mean, it ain't a, it ain't a happy go lucky every day. But listen, that la that don't last because listen, hey, here comes that old river getting a little higher, and the first thing you know, somebody's telling you about how the Lord blessed them, Amen. And the Lord did this for them, and all this, and, and and hey, it will encourage you, and that old leaf will take on some new. New sap, and it'll, 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 get, it'll get back to what it was doing, and first thing you know, it, it, you hear it, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so that's, this is some of the things that I, I've, I've seen in this. And he said here, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever, listen to this, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Amen. Now, it ain't in the pocketbook. Right. It ain't in 
uh, the big house on the hill, it ain't that thing that he's talking about. He'll give you what you what you need, and he'll give you, but he says here that you will prosper. And that, this morning, I believe is that, that you will get closer to the Lord, that you will be able to see some of the, the things that are happening in your life and something that you, some way or another, you're helping your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren to draw closer to the Lord, but you will see some prospering. Amen. And so I, I don't doubt his word whatsoever, and all I can do is say that I believe it, and if, and, and I, I, I see it. I see it every day. I see things. Amen. And it ain't always in me, but it's in other people. And listen, how that the Lord is blessing them and prospering them. And you say, oh, well, what about so-and-so? She did this and she did that. And she said, oh, well, listen, it ain't a perfect world. Right. And we're going to have those sad times. But I guarantee you this much, the Lord ain't no farther away from me than he ever has been. But we have these things to, 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 to go through. And so he said here, the ungodly are not so. The ungodly are not so. They haven't got this. They haven't got these. He says, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Now, I want to tell you something about the chaff and what he's, what he's saying here. When they would harvest their wheat and they, they'd bring it in, they'd get out there with big covers, I'm, I'm told, and they, they pitch it up in the air, and the wind would blow that chaff away off of that, and it'd fall back down, and they'd have that where they could grind it up, and the chaff wouldn't be in with their flour and stuff like this. And here he says, here, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff that's blown away with the wind and, and, and drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. Now, the judgment is for those that are saved, and they're going to be judged for the amount of works, and, I mean, for the works that they did and for not salvation, but for the works, and listen, for their rewards. But he says, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. So that sinner will not be with the, in the judgment that we're in because our, that judgment that God is, 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 we're going to stand before him, it's not to see if we're going to heaven or hell. Because if, if it was, we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. But listen, he'll not, he'll not say to the, those who are lost, to the, so those who are saved, and those that, there's not going to be a mix and a mingle in there. But listen, but he says the sinner, the ones here that are ungodly, are going to be in the congregation of the righteous. I mean, uh, the Lord of mercy. Uh, nor are sinners in the congregation of the righteous. The, 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 the sinner is not going to be in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. And this morning, uh, I, there are some things in there that I wanted to read to you about uh, 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 the, chaff, the chaff and all this. And Jeremiah speaks of a lot of, of these things, but, but our time is just about gone. But I want you to understand that that old chaff is what goes up around that grain of wheat. And when it gets ready to be, get a side cut and all that, it falls off into the grains. And listen, it's just like the sinner and the righteous together. And when they pick it up and it blows that away, that divides in, in get that chaff and that old stuff away from the wheat and it's fit for human's consumption then it don't have all that old stuff in it and it's a type of separation uh, uh, and and god try i mean he, he he separates us from the from the sinners uh in this judgment so anyway it's just a little touch of uh, what i what i got to, to see and understand but notice if you would uh, uh if you get a chance to read isaiah 63 or 61 one through three, try to read that. And Jeremiah 23, 38 is another one about the chaff uh, that's uh, with the wheat and, to the, and, the, and all that. So uh, anyway, that's, that's our lesson this morning for, come on in y'all, that's our lesson for this morning and we hope that uh, we've encouraged you a little bit with this son. Thank y'all so much.